Now, if you look on the surgical plan, there should be what's called an implant mount. So what I do is go to my four millimeter implants and mount number three. So this is the mount that's specific to this particular case. So again, it's implant mount four, three. So what I do then is while over the patient, we'll come in, we put that mount onto the implant. Let me see the screw. And then we'll affix it and screw it in to the implant. Just like so. So now the implant is attached to the mount, which will go through the guide. And then we have a special handle that will attach to the mount so it can go into the handpiece, just like so. And that will go all the way down into the, uh, through the master cylinder. So I'll place it onto my handpiece. And we're going to put our torque at about 25 so that it'll torque out when we hit 25 Newton centimeters. And now we'll literally just place the implant right through the guide, just like so. And you can hear it engaging into the bone, just light pressure as I push down. You can see how we're going a little farther in, okay? And now you guys heard that beep and how it stopped. That means I reached 25 Newton centimeters of torque. So depending on your personal beliefs, your system that you're using, uh, you know, that to me is enough for primary stability. And then what I do is I come in with a hand torque. And this is usually when the patients go, I have craftsman's tools at home that we can use. So again, we're placing it all the way in, and I'm getting pretty decent resistance, so I'm very positive that we've got good primary stability. And now what we're gonna do is remove the mount and the guide. So now what? If I just move the guide out, I'm gonna probably take the implant with it because the mount is connected to the guide, which is connected to the implant. So what we do now is we just remove the mount by unscrewing it, just like so. And then we gently remove that from the patient's mouth. And I will come in and flush. So now we have our implant in the theoretically exact position that we planned on it being. Here is our pre-made implant temporary that I had showed you guys earlier, how we made it with our screw access hole. So technically, this should just pop right in. Open up a little room. And there we go. It popped right in. So here we go, our implant temporary pre-made fit perfectly.